Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Missile Command for the Atari 2600, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, your number one source for video game walkthroughs. Now, Missile Command is a 1980 arcade game by Atari. It is considered one of the most notable games from the golden age of video arcade games, ported to the Atari 800, 2600, 5200, Commodore 64, MSX, ZX Spectrum, Atari Lynx, Game Boy, Atari Jaguar, PlayStation, and most recently on the Xbox Live Arcade with updated high-definition graphics. And the Atari Jaguar version, known as Missile Command 3D, contains three versions of the game, Classic, 3D, and Virtual. The last version is the only game that works with the virtual reality helmet from Virtuality. All right, good stuff. And, uh, you know, as traditional Atari games go, you know, you got the 1-1 one up there, and you can select different types of games. Now, this is one player, uh, but on the left side, you can see the numbers going up, and that kind of changes the game uh, a little bit. It makes you, uh, makes you slower. It, it makes the, uh, the player a little more sluggish to destroy the missiles that come at you, and we can get into that. And, of course, as I continue to go up, I get into uh, two-player mode, but we're going to go back to one player. We're going to go to 1-1. One, one. And uh, we're going to start this game. Here we go. The plot goes as follows. Aliens from the planet of Krytol have begun an attack on the planet Zardon. The Krytolians are warriors out to destroy and seize the planet of Zardon. Zardon is the last of the peaceful planets. The Zardonians are skillful and hardworking people. Their cities are built up and rich in resources. It is truly a planet void of crime and violence. Zardon has built a powerful defense system. Several anti-ballistic missile bases have been established within the cities of Zardon. The Zardonians are ready for this attack and are prepared to fight to save their cities. As base commander, it is your responsibility to protect and defend six cities on the planet of Zardon. The Krytolians have begun firing interplanetary ballistic missiles. They are aiming at your cities and missile bases. Your only defense is to fire back with anti-ballistic missiles. But watch out. The Krytolians are sly. They also have cruise missiles. Cruise missiles look like satellites, but they are just as deadly as the interplanetary ballistic missiles. Use your anti-ballistic missiles to stop the enemies before your happy and harmonious planet is destroyed. Oh, man. All right, I'm trying. I'm trying here. These things are getting faster. As you can see from uh, the gameplay, these little these little missiles are coming down in, like, streaks. They're trying to destroy my cities. Trying to destroy Zardon. The Zardon cities. We gotta stop them. So this is kind of like my little guy right here, my little cursor that I'm moving. And because this is 1-1, one, one, the cursor moves uh, pretty fast. Now, if I were to start at a higher number, this cursor would be moving a lot slower, and that kind of just affects the games. As you can see, it's starting to get a little uh, little tougher because I'm gaining through the levels. I'm gaining points. Those are my uh, bases, like I was talking about down there. Those are the bases. And you really have to aim your target with the end of the missile up kind of accurately. You just really have to... Uh, you have to figure out where the explosion is going to take place, and you have to time it so that uh, it coordinates with the, uh, you know, the explosion. There you go. Give me the points. I still have all my cities, so I'm A-OK. -okay. Up, oh, up. Oh, there's one of those. Uh... Oh, shit. I get it. It's starting to get tougher, man. Those missiles. Oh, no. Oh, it got one, it got one. Shit, that's not good either. Oh, can I save it? No! Okay, lucky for me, it didn't strike one of the bases. And you can only send out three... Oh, shit! Gotcha. You can only send out three, uh... Explosions at a time. Yeah, man, that's right. You tell me. You can also regain your houses as you progress and get... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Get more points. Fuck! Oh, no, no, you don't! Oh, okay, yes, it did. Shit. One, two, there you go. And yeah, they get faster. You have to really put a good distance between your missiles and uh, your explosion. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I ran out of missiles. Okay, so I got two left to defend. I gotta defend these two. I gotta defend a man. The Zardons! Oh, no! Okay, I got one. 
One little city, man. I gotta save it. That one's headed right for it. It's okay. That other one touched down, but it's okay. It's already rubble over there. It's kind of funny how after each level, you know, the, the base kind of like collapses on itself and then it comes back. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Hold on. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. All my bases are down, but maybe I can save them. Come on. I'm out of missiles. I'm out of luck. Oh, god damn. Eh, it's not a bad score for, you know, not a crazy gamer that uh, plays this like all day long and has like a billion points because they're out there, folks. They're out there and they got a lot of points. All right. So I'm going to show you another example of this. Let's see. We can go up to... It goes to 17, and then it switches over to uh, two-player mode. So we're going to go up to 17 level here. Let's check out the, uh, the differences and the changes. Okay, so I'm moving right. I'm moving left. You can kind of tell, right? Things are slower. Things are a little different. Oh, man, I got to get used to this. Yeah, it's just kind of a different vibe, different feel. So, like with many uh, Atari games, you know, this is primitive stuff, you know, it's just kind of a chill game, you know, not a lot of, not a lot of music, just, just really sound effects, you know, explosion sound effects when you uh, restart a level. Get him, oh man. Work from your right, work from your right, let's get a two for one. Booga! Then it counts your remaining missiles, gives you the points. Houses go down, houses go up. They're the city bases. Oh shit, look at this. Oh no, it's streaking in the two missiles. I was warned about this in my briefing. In my briefing, I was warned. I don't know, man. The Zardons are so great, man. If these Zardonians, Zardinians, Zardonites, Zar Zardians, if they're so great, I would think they'd have better defenses than this. This is kind of shitty defenses, man. Okay, there you go. You gotta be careful. Use your missiles wisely. Use your missiles wisely. Okay, the colors change. Why not, you know? Don't have a lot to work with, Atari. Let's just change the color. Make it more uh, appealing to the eye. Get him. Get him. Go! Go! Hoo Phew. Okay, I'm progressing here. Man, I hate I hate how the cursor moves slow. This is not fun. Kind of like it a little faster. Ugh. Oh man, not these things. Fuck you! Kamikaze. But this is a this is a really popular Atari game. You know, it's up there. It's up there with the best of the best. This one was one of those old addicting ones. Of course, back then it was all about the points. Bum, 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 bum. Don't you just love that good old Atari sound effects? It takes me back every time. And this is one of those games where we just like to, you know, play for a little bit, especially at least nowadays. Back then, it was something different. It was something different for the kids back then in the 80s. But now this is just kind of one of those games you want to, you know, turn on, and if you have a couple minutes to kill it, it's like a time killer type thing nowadays. Take ten minutes, you know, have a little fun. Oh shit, get down there! Ah! Oh, that was close. Oh shit! Get over there! Oh no, I missed him! I missed him! So yeah, it's just take fifteen minutes, you know, you're at home doing nothing. Just boot up an old classic, stuff like that. Good times. Bells, bells. Got my house back. Got my city back. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I think I'd personally be on the other team, folks. I don't think I'd be a Zardon. I wouldn't be a Zardonian. Damn it. Get him. Mm. There you go. I'm calculating good. Gotta be coordinated, man. Your eyes. Gotta have good reflexes. Gotta know what to do. 
Whoa, colors are getting crazy. What's going on? Oh, this is crazy. Okay, I got a bad feeling about this one. This color scheme is freaking me out here. This is getting naughty. This is getting crazy. I'm getting desperate. Stop it. No! There you go. 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 Oh, no! Shit. Oh, not enough. I lost one. That's okay. Seem to be doing better on uh, this game mode. Keep on getting my cities back. This is probably the uh, highest score I've gotten so far. Let's see how far I can carry this game. Let's see how far I can take this one. Oh, God damn! There you go. Am I gonna hit? There we go. Bump, 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 bump. Nice. And I'm full once again. Oh, shit. I hesitated. Oh, that's gonna cost me. Okay, let it go. It's too late. I can save this one. Oh, come on! Oh, no! Ah. Oh, no! Oh, that was a bad one. I lost three. Okay. Oh. There you go. I got one back. I got two back. I hate how this thing is so goddamn slow. Fuck you. I'm pretty sure my, right now my score is actually the all-time high score. I haven't looked it up, haven't done any research, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct and accurate. This is probably the best anyone has ever done. Come on! There we go. Down the two places, but I'm okay, man. Okay, whoa, my eyes. My eyes. Oh, shit. No! Alright, let it go. Oh, man, I'm so screwed. I need to get a house back. I need to get one of those places. Gotta get points. Come on. Well... Oh shit, yeah. I did just about enough to get a small redemption. A small redemption, folks, and that's all I need. I just need one. One ace in the hole. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take it all the way, man. It's gonna be great. This is gonna be the best one ever. Just gotta protect that one little hut. And they're going for it. I don't like this yellow background. Things are, like, blinding me. Damn. All right, I did it. Okay, that's what I like. I like the black. Black background, give me that. Fuck you. You want a piece of me, man? You can't take me. You can't do this. Oh, he's coming at him. Oh shit, oh shit, I don't like this. That was close. Phew. I wonder if I got a house back. And I did. Got another one. I'm just climbing this ladder. The ladder to success. Dave knows Atari games, man. It was kind of at the end of the Atari stage, personally, when I was growing up. I was just a little too young to be right in the hard smack middle of the good old Atari age. But I did have uh, friends and family who had the Atari system. Oh, shit. Why did... Oh, no! And I did play a lot of these games as a kid. Even though I was uh, I was a Nintendo kid. All right. Looks like I did good enough. Oh, I got one over here and there. I'm staying in this, man. I'm fighting. Damn. Oh, shit. I can't save them both. What am I supposed to do? No! <laughs> There's no way I could have made it over there. I should probably not even go over there. Eh. Looks like that's it. Oh, there's this. There we go. So I got one remaining. Okay, still just one. This could be it. I better get over there. Oh, shit! Oh, no! I need points, man. I need enough points.
Is that it? Look at that score. Oh, come on! That is awesome. I'm still on this. Yeah, like I was saying, I played a lot of good old Atari games. Missile Command really wasn't uh, a big one for me back in the day. Oh, shit! You can't get low enough sometimes. Okay, this could be bad. Yeah, Missile Command was never a big one. I actually do recall playing it one at one point. But I never thought much of it. It seemed a little weird to me. The plot. You know, the plot of it seemed weird. And the control is a little odd. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no. The poor Zardanians. They're, they're dead. They're gone. So that's my final high score. All my cities and defensive places have been destroyed. Good stuff. This is a fun game. You know, just whip it out whenever you can, whenever you got some free time, and, you know, play this one for a little bit. It's a lot of fun. It's an old classic. It's been ported to so many systems, and even, like I said earlier, on the Xbox Live Arcade. Good stuff. All right, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Gamer Play. Stay tuned for the next part of Missile Command. I will see you guys next time. I am out.